Hello guys, welcome back to Black Cat Bladers. My name is Marco, also known as the Black Cat. And on this video, we're going to attempt to start a new series called The Experimental Combo Series. <laughs> but before that, uh, we would, before we start, we'd like to uh, uh, say thanks to uh, Leftburst for inspiring me on uh, doing this series. You can check his channel and the link, link in the description will be down below the video. And uh, also shout out to Sir Matt the Burst uh, and also all of my friends there at Thunderground uh, Beyblade Philippines or Thunderground League and also a uh, special shout out to Ramp Hobbies. Uh, the channel, their channel will be posted also in the link description down below and uh, let's start. So what will we do on this experimental combo series? Now uh, what, we, what we're trying to do here is to do some combos that will be let's just say kind of an experimental ones because nobody will really use them on tournaments or in the meta of the standard tournaments. So. For the first one that we're gonna be doing is what I will be calling the uh, all projectile combo. So basically, we're gonna be focusing on projectile part Beyblade of the combos or the Beyblades. So unfortunately, we only have two parts for that. That's actually in a projectile. So uh, one of them is uh, this what we call a bullet driver. Now. As you may know, this comes stock with uh, Venom Devils combo. And for those who don't know, um, what what it does is that when this driver lands on the stadium, it this button here will be pushed, and if it twists like that, it will release a spring-loaded mini bay that will fight with your main bay. Ain't that cool, huh? <laughs> it's one of the heaviest uh, drivers here in uh, the uh, uh, the series, the GT series. And uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool ones. The only problem with this one is that this tends, or tends to, you know, easily be broken because it's like a very long, you know, driver. The spring here is also kind of weak and the uh, the driver here is kind of heavy, and uh, this driver makes the Beyblade really tall, so uh, some of the uh, capabilities will, you know, cancel out. Especially if you have like uh, a combo that uh, utilizes uh, the disc and also the layer. So yeah, that's uh, the introduction for the bullet driver. So basically we're going to be using this to our combo. Now let's just, you know, fix this. Align the holes here. There you go, and just one click. There you go. Okay, so now for the layer, the only layer that has, as you may know, that has projectile uh, gimmick on it, are the two phoenixes, the uh, revived phoenix, and also the dead phoenix. Now, usually, guys. Uh, as you may know, one we do we do know in this in the tournament that people usually combine the, these two to provoke to produce the perfect phoenix, which is the revived phoenix core and the dead phoenix armor. Now, what's what's left here is what, what they call the uh, I don't know what it's called, but I've heard somebody call it the imperfect phoenix. So, a reason behind this is because. Uh, they get the heavier core because this core is heavier because of the metal and the heavier this is heavier than the original one the other one and then also for the armor the, this armor is heavier because it has more metal on it compared to this one so there you have it we're gonna be using these layer but later we're gonna go ahead and choose one okay now I have heard and also in theory that since the bullet driver has a very weak spring and it uses its own uh, inertia to launch itself, people will have a very hard time on 
uh, activating this because a lot of people prefer to do a heavy combo, heavy base combo, heavy layer, uh, heavy disc. So what we're going to do is for this combo, we're going to choose the lighter option. Now, for this one, since the core of the uh, Revive Phoenix is heavier, then we're not going to use it. We're going to use that Phoenix one. Same goes with the armor. We're going to be using the lighter one, which is the Revive Phoenix armor. So we're going to be using this as the projectile for the layer. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and assemble that. Oh, and by the way, how it works is that when the opposing beat blade hits the armor, it has the spring-loaded, or actually it's not a spring-loaded loaded, uh, gimmick, it's actually just a mechanical one. Uh, when it clicks here, like that, boom, it will, the armor will fly up, it can hit the enemy or the opponent, or it can be a, a uh, distraction uh, on the arena. So yeah, there you go. Now. For the weight discs, we only have like two candidates for those because, like I said earlier, what we prefer is to have a light combo so that the bullet driver won't have a hard time activating itself. So, we have two choices here the best and the lightest, or let's just say uh, the best of the lightest line. We have the uh, outer and the 8 dash so I believe that 8 dash is lighter compared to the outer one however our outer one is more balanced because it's uh, you know it's full circle like this and by the way they're both four stars so I don't have any problem with you know either way if it's a balance or not so yeah <laughs> anyway I would prefer using the 8 dash over the outer because besides this being lighter, uh, it has a uh, you know uh, spread weight distribution. So it the weight is not focused inward, not like you know the outer. The outer has this you know a design that have 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 the, it has you know uh, it puts in the. Uh, the weight in so yeah so all right there we go actually there you have it these well these are the parts of our combo we're gonna go ahead and assemble this and we're gonna show you the uh right now so there you go attach this one be careful about this because this is really a sensitive layer there you go. Really hard to set up. There you go. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so we're gonna be trying this out with uh, stock bay blades, see if it works and catch you later in the arena. All right, so first battle, the combo or the project, uh, let's just call it projectile combo, or full projectile combo versus Master Diabolos. All right, so let's see. Let's punch it out here. Three, two, one, go. Here, three, two, one, go shoot. Knocked out. Alright, so round two, round two. Round two, three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Knocked out. Alright, so round three, round three, round three. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot! Now I am. I believe the reason why our projectile combo is too light compared to the other one. And there you have it. Three, four, four, master, four. Alright, 
second buffer our full projectile combo versus Judgment Joker. Let's set it up. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Let's see. Oh, projectile one. So, round two, Judgment Joker versus our full uh, projectile combo. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Projectile combo, projectile goes out. Oh, okay. Judgment Joker wins second round. Round three, no wins yet. Oh my god, what are you doing, projectile combo? Come on, you need to do better than that, man. Okay, so, three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Here we go. Oh my god, not again. Get to go again. There's the armor. Come on, stay the Oh, it won! Alright! Okay, deciding match for Judgment Joker and the powerful projectile combo. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go again. And there you go. If you check the number one or two is on the place. Okay, our projectile combo one. That's nice. There you go. Next opponent can can this combo survive? With Y Ragnarok, the newest one, yeah, yeah Sporting Bay versus the Projectile Phoenix. Well, let's just call it the Projectile Phoenix, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay, so third match. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. There you go. The projectile Phoenix. Two, Glide Ragnarok versus the Projectile Phoenix. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. There it is, Projectile One, go. Oh no. That was a very long way to launch it. Okay, yeah, let's start over. Rematch. Official rematch because I got mislaunched it. Or let's, yeah, let's just say it's a mislaunch in mine. Three, two, one, go shoot. Course. Three, two, one, go shoot! Go the bullets down! Hands out again, I'm dying. Oh man. Okay. Glide right now, one. Fourth fight. Fourth round, let's just say. Can it survive the newest one? Brave Valkyrie's top combo. It's quite heavy though. Versus our projectile phoenix. There you go. Okay, so let's go. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh, the bullet did not go on. Ooh, armor is off and dead. Now two. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Miss one. Alright. Second official battle. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Go bullet. Okay, last battle. Oh man, we only got like one win, and that has against Joker. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's finish it. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Go bullet. There you go. Goes out. Projectile will go out. I'll make it here. 
There you go. And it's done. Unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, to summarize that up, well, let's just say that this is really, you know, a uh, casual made combo. Cannot be used in the tournaments because, as you notice, we only won against Joker and the uh, projectile phoenix is, you know, let's just say, I think that the reason why we didn't won that much is because of the weight of the the Beyblade. We, uh, we did use the he one of the heaviest, you know, driver, but unfortunately for the, for the driver to work every time that we launch it, or we rush launch it, we need to have a lighter build for the combo on top, so unfortunately that made us look bad. <laughs> really bad. Uh, well, but it's really a really interesting combo, you should try it out. Uh, so, hope you enjoy the video guys. Uh, we'll be probably, we will have another experimental build coming up next, so uh, stay tuned and uh, subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, hope to see you guys next time. Take care, bye!